Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second period of action. The All Blacks in black. Shocker there. Versus the Ducks <laughs> in purple. I'm the your All host, Blacks Jason. The Ducks do actually, I'm sorry, they, they do have a road jersey. They do have a road in gold yellow. jersey. Yes, yes. A gold, yellow, correct. Right. But they are not wearing it today. They are choosing to use their normal black jerseys. Allison hits it up into the neutral zone there. It goes to Zach. Zach with the puck now. Score is one to nothing in favor of the Ducks right now, but the All Blacks, as mentioned at the end of last period, outshot the Ducks nine to nine to four in that period. Elliott will pick up the puck and prevent anything else from happening on that rush. Meanwhile, speaking of Ducks goaltender, did you not play goalie for the Ducks last week and win in, in a sub role? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, emergency sub for the Ducks and uh, end up coming away with the win against the Ball Gags. In the game, you had to face some of your uh, your friends, uh, Mel. Oh! Are they saying goal? Is it goal or well, is it out? What happens here? I couldn't tell. I thought I hit the crossbar, but what did you think, Jason? Initial thought reaction? Uh, it's too close to tell yeah. from up here. From our angle, we have to defer to the refs who had the better yes. angle. And that's the way it should be. The refs decide on what they want. They the are whistling goal. goal. So the All Blacks will tie it up at one goal. goal apiece. What do you think, Scott? Did they go in? Yeah, I think they Yeah, Scott, one of our, uh, one of our yeah. players here. Everybody up here thought it was a goal, so uh, we agree with the call here, and it went in, so the crowd here, the TV crowd thought it went in. Right, uh, Elliot having having some words with Jay Hunter. <laughs> Elliot's smiling, so it doesn't yeah. look like he's yeah. too upset, yeah, I yeah. think. I think so it's, it's going to be one one the cursory, the cursory goalie to ref discussion of what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> well, it, it, again, as, as a referee, the commissioner, I want to see the referees talking out, come with a decision. That's all we can do. Absolutely. And they did that, made a strong decision, and we just lived by it. And I thought it was a good call. Absolutely. Mike Johnson dumps it in deep. Jason Laliberte using his speed to get there first. He will take a spill, but... No penalty deserved there. Right. Ghost hole. <laughs> Tripped in a ghost hole. Jason Laliberte looking for, looking for a pass here. Passes it to Mike. It goes behind him, though. And to Luke Taylor. Good, good stick-eye coordination by Jamie Cook to hit it out of midair. But his team had to touch up, so that killed the rush. Mike Johnson shot goes wide. Dumped it out. He took over dumping the shot. And now... Zach has it behind his own net. He's going to go around. Jess with a good four check. And at least to a turn over Mike Johnson. Shot, shot. big. Rebound loose. Jason coming in. Shot blocked. Good stick Mike there. Stick, maybe it hurt there. I can't tell. Good Zach stick there by, uh, by Blaze to break that up and prevent uh, Lolly Berte's shot from Absolutely. finding the nets. The net was there for taking. That looked like, uh, was, it, was it Blaze? Blaze made that block. Great play yes. there. But again, Jess four check led to the turnover. Shot goes high up. over the crossbar. Jason, Jason, Jason Lally Berche with the puck, working around. Luke Taylor being aggressive there. Doesn't come away with the puck, but good job by him. Jamie Cook. Cannot control the puck. It goes to Luke Taylor. One. He's got a chance. Two on good one. pass. Shot. No. no shot. Jason Lally. Oh, and it no. does go in. Jason Lally Berche with an initial play to stop the, the first shot, but... No one was the there. Duck, the Ducks had control of the puck and hammered it top shelf for the goal. That'll make it two to one in favor of the Ducks. And it was a two on one. Uh, Jamie pitched in. He lost the battle. Became a two on one. Centering pass came across. James cut in on the goalie. His initial shot was the block. We lost it, but the ball was still there, and he roofed it in the empty net. It's now a two one game. Again, this game very back and forth, very competitive matchup we have here against two elite teams in this league. All Black, stuff it along the boards. Kosal with it now. Oh, stolen by Tracy. She is able to get it out of the zone, and there will be a fight right below us. Not a literal fight, of course, but a fight for the puck. Scott McQuarrie clears it along the boards to Rich. Rich, nice, play. nice pass. Shot is blocked, and it goes in the corner. Tiffany trying to get it back to center. Cannot do so. Kosal working against her. James again, as it's James. James, nice good pass. pass, shot, oh, oh hit the post. I think it hit the post, I think it was, I think it hit the post. It went wide, another shot goes right off the point. No, it did hit the post indeed. And uh, Tiffany had a chance there, but saved by iron was the netminder lead. Uh, offside, Jeff with the puck. Back and forth, back and forth it goes. Scott McQuarrie now. Long pass along the opposing boards for Rich, who was stolen. Brad with the puck now, working against Tracy. Good job by Tracy and cutting off the angle. Rich will come and help out. Aaron, Aaron. 
Crystal now. Tries to get Kosal. A little out of his reach. He'll have to retrieve it. Up to Jeff. Shot. Saved by Elliott Good with the blocker. It. Tracy tries to get it to Scott. Able to do so. Scott will not clear it all the way up. Stolen by Aaron. Oh. But oh, there's a two on breakaway. One two on one. Great Good save, save by, by Lee. Back and forth passing between James and Rich, but Lee was not fooled. He was able to effectively move from side to side and then stop that shot. That Great was a huge work. save. That goes in. It's a 3-1 game. That could be the save. If you remember, for the rest of the game, you have the All Blacks come back. That's a huge, huge save on a 2 on break. The, the All Blacks, not normally a team that has a lot of defensive breakdowns, have already given up two 2 on ones in this period alone in the first five and a half minutes. Absolutely. Mike Johnson loses that face off. It goes to the duck shot from the point. Does not get through traffic. Jamie Cook now with it. He will advance the puck forward. Jamie cannot pull the trigger due to Honey's defense. Goes back to Allison. Allison would clear it up to Mike. Mike now with the puck. Shot just wide of the net. It's behind now. Zach will retrieve it. Zach. Up to Josh. Josh tried to pass it, but it was stolen by Jamie. Good save by Elliott. He's gonna go back to Mike Johnson. He will clear it down. Now Josh has it. Zone. Josh now lost, but Jamie keeps it in. Shot blocked. Josh has it. Can he get it out of the zone? He finally does. And Played in the Blaise air by Blaze. Blaze will take it now along the boards, working against Mike Johnson. Blaze still has the puck. Jeff hit it forward though. And Mike will retrieve it. Mike pushing forward now. Long pass along the opposing boards. It goes to nobody but Zach. Zach will immediately flare it back up. Stolen by Mike Johnson. Long shot. On goal. On goal. Saved by Elliott. Played up now. Allison. Not able to get a handle on the puck. It is taken by Josh along the boards. He will pass up to Blaze. Blaze can't get a backhand shot on it, though. He will instead try to pass it. Knocked away from him. Honey will have to dump it deep and allow her team to get a dump and a bit of a change. And now the Ducks are on the sides again. They're going to not come in for four check. Jason on Liberté. His own line. Dumps it in. Tracy now in her own zone. Stolen by Mike Johnson, but it's offside as Jason was trapped in the zone. Absolutely. Elliot, Elliot recognized it and didn't even... Didn't, didn't even flinch. Yeah, he's like, you better, you better make that call. A, cur a cursory <laughs> wave. glance of the, of the glove, but... Like, they're offside, Wade. Here have, it is. Yeah. They're offside. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't have counted. had it went in. So the face-off will happen right below us in the best seat in the house. Meanwhile, we got the uh, stand department from the Puck University here. <laughs> David Altshuler. Is here, Scott with his next opponent. The winner of this game will be playing Puck University in round number two, which is actually the initial round of the PCHL Top Pro Playoffs. So, uh, David, uh, coming off uh, the win last game versus um, the Ball Gags, your thoughts on how well you played or how well you didn't play? We played well. Uh, we definitely are going to have to, we're going to have to bring it up and raise our level. And we know um, that the All Blacks are obviously a very good team too. So either of these teams. Gotta ask, gotta ask you a question here. For some reason, I mean the All Blacks, you guys play a similar style, but you have the All Blacks number. On the flip side, the Ducks have always seemed to have your number more often than not. So is there a preference here? I mean, can I put you on record as having a preference between one team and the other? No. Whichever team we have to play on the best game. Each has their own different style. Uh, obviously, the Ducks are more finesse, and, uh, and the uh, All Blacks are more in your face. So, uh, you know. well, thank you, David. Appreciate the opportunity. I'll continue scouting here. Yeah. Later on in the third period, I'll be giving over the play by play. You're going to have stopped Fairchild here. We'll talk about his upcoming game against the guy that uh, that actually call, uh, is calling the game right now. It's they're his five-minute major against the Green Bay Boogies. And Scott Fetcher just said they're going down. Now, Scott, you made a, a major revelation here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna two on one here. here, two on one. Joe shot saved by Elliott. Quick save there. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm, I'm talking as the game is going on here. Joe Sharker will be in nets for the Green Bay Boogies. How do you like them apples? Uh, 
interesting matchup. I mean, he's tough playing he's out tough. on D, too. So, I mean, either way, he's tough to play, whether he's in net or he's playing back on D. So, should be a quick game. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. That'll be our night champion on night, and uh, we'll have more thoughts and stuff for each other later on this episode. Awesome. Here. See you in a bit, guys. Back to the current game at hand, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Laliberte ties up the center man at faceoff. Goes to Josh. Josh will try to play it up. Stolen by Jason Laliberte. Oh, shot! Oh, good by, shot there. By Tracy there. That was blocked by Tracy. That was a reaching shot there by Mike Johnson. Play, yeah, by Jason and Mike combined. Creating that shot. Julie so Rich tries to get it to center, but it is stolen by Jamie Cook. Jamie will advance it now. Tried to shoot it. Good back check by Tiffany there. Launched high in the zone, no icing here. It is waved off. Mike Johnson with the puck now. Laying it up. Jamie Cook looking for a play. Will choose to dump it to Mike Johnson. Long shot. Loved by Elliott. By Elliott, he'll hold on to it. Elliott, very cool under pressure exactly. all this game. Just. That, uh, that was about the most casual glove scene yeah. I've, say, I've seen uh, all day. That's a great point. 4.14 to go here in the second period here. Still a 2-1 game. You can go either way with the Ducks and the All Blacks. Now, draw. Jeff captain. dumps it in to Crystal. Crystal now along the boards. Backhand pass attempt, but it goes behind the net. Jason Laliberte will retrieve. Jason Laliberte. To go, to go Saul. Cannot get a handle on the puck. Too many bodies in front of him, and that will kill that rush. It is going the other way now, Tiffany, for the Ducks. Good nice pass play. to Blaze. Blaze. Blaze looking for a shot. No, he passes it to Josh along the board. Josh with some space. Shot Locked. through traffic. Kept in by Zach. Good aggressiveness by him. He passes it to his brother. But it is stolen, and now the All Blacks trying to get out of the zone. They do. Kosal will try and dump it deep. Laliberte tried to stick the stick out, could not do so, but he does end up with the puck and will bring in the zone anyway. Shot oh, off the post. the post. Kosal with the shot, blocked by Elliott and finally covered. Oh, that shot had Elliott beaten, but it hit the post to, the, to his right. Elliott tapping the post, thanking his iron friend for that save. Oh, one post away from being a 2-2 game there. 3.05 left in the second period, ladies and gentlemen. Time continues to tick down on this very competitive playoff game. This is exactly what you look for in a DCHL feature game in the playoffs. Plays now. With a pass shot. Oh, and it trickles. James could not get enough of the blade on the puck to put it in top shelf. So a little break there for the All Blacks because that could have tied it up there. Absolutely, man. You know or what? That could have put them ahead uh, down three to one. Right. And folks, rewind the videotape. I thought the Ducks may have been offsides there, but that's a close call. And luckily, no one goal was scored. So, um, but it was a close call and a great play there by uh, by Lee there to make that save. Absolutely. Lays now with the puck. We'll pass that oh. center shot by Tiffany. It goes side. Yep. Net. Tiffany dumps it in. Behind the net again. Crystal will take it. All Blacks bunching up a little bit there. They got to space themselves out a little bit more. James with the puck. Trying for the wraparound. Cannot do so. Blaze now. Back to Tiffany. And Tiffany there, loses there, it. There are two Tiffany's. There's Tiffany number one. That's Tiffany Picor, I believe. And here Tiffany's Tiffany Nguyen, if I recall correctly. Oh, interesting. So I believe there's two Tiffany's here for the Ducks. Both very talented, both with excellent skills. Centering pass. Nicely placed by Jeff to get out of the area. And Brad will dump it out of the zone. Honey winning the reset. Oh, well, someone left the ball there and Brad picks it up. Brad will dump it in with 100 seconds to go in the second period. In the corner it goes. will be four check by Crystal. Now across. Played along to the opposing board to James. James, James with the puck now. He will pass it. Tried to pass it all the way to Tiffany. But Mike Johnson was there for the for the steal. Dumps deep. No ice in here. Zach. All the way up to James. James. Moving forward. Pass to Tiffany along the boards. But it is stolen by Jason Laliberte, who now will move the other way with it. Good defense there. Good back checking by Luke. Center. It's there for the taking. And Elliot Mike being very aggressive now. with the poke there. Rachel had a chance there. She controlled the puck, but she didn't have control there. Now, pass comes across to Mike Johnson's stick. Luke pinches in. And Luke. Mike Johnson looking at the refs like, come on, call something. The puck was frozen there. I don't think there will be a call. That could have been called interference on Luke. Luke did not let him go. 
call it a first, but maybe, maybe a good no call in a playoff game like this. Yeah. Delay a game, both of them. So offsetting call here. So I think it's. Out. I think. I think the reasoning is is because uh, Brad or uh, Mike kind of quit on the play, just threw his hands up while the puck was still pinned at his feet. So it'll be a delay of game on both. Offsetting penalties, so no man advantage for either team here, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Five on five, eight seconds to go. Winning for a point shot from Allison. Shot comes, and it's blocked, and that will do it. That will be the period. So a five on five uh, situation here. We have matching minors, I believe, to uh, Luke and to Mike Johnson for delay of game. Yep. So it'll be five on five, and then we'll be back for another maybe a minute or 50 or so left in uh, gone in the third period. Thank you, by the way. Before we go ahead, let's get shots on goal. Uh, we may not be able to get that right now. Tom's not available right now, but Tom, shots on goal. Jason, we believe you believe in this right now. Good luck in your game against the Greenback Boogies. Hopefully, you'll do With well. With the Greenback Boogies against the five-minute uh, yeah, major. Exactly. Uh, I apologize. Ten to three, all blacks. Ten to three, all blacks again. All blacks again, out shooting the Ducks by a large margin. However, it is the all blacks that are down by a goal. That's correct. Uh, two goals on seven shots for the uh, for the Ducks at you right now. We'll be back momentarily with a third period of action here in DC Channel. Thank you yep. so much. Folks. Thank you very much, folks. See you later.